Hello, it's Sarah. Tonight I have some beads. I've been playing with my beads. And I'm actually getting all cut up because I keep twisting the thing and cut my finger. But anyway, this is like an art I make thing I made. It's, uh, this is just like, I don't even know. These are pieces that I've been collecting and I just was rummaging through my, like all my stuff that I had. And I just glued this bee on here and hung these two pearls. I think these are like Tim Holtz pearls. And put this, this is probably art, art, I'm art of cake. And this part is art of cake. Cause I usually take apart the art of cakes and like see if I can use them for other stuff. So I just wanted to share that while I was at it. This, this is pretty cool. I like it. I have it hanging. Um, so that turned out pretty cool. But what I've been really doing is these, um, ever since I saw the, uh, the beading tutorial by, um, Kelly, uh, what is the last name? Anyway, uh, I've been playing with my beads and I went and actually bought some beads to do it with because I wanted some bigger, chunkier beads. Um, these are, I think they're called Jesse James beads, like these, the bigger ones, definitely the bigger ones are. Um, and then I have some, some from my stash too, but sh I put at least 12 to 13 lengths of chain here. And that's how I did it. I, and then I made about that many charms. So that's kind of how I did it. And I just start at the bottom and I just kind of alternate going up the chain. Uh, like, so this one's pink and black. And like I just did, I don't know if I have dangles on this. Yeah, I do have dangles. This one, I actually just bought these today and added them. These little things were on sale at AC Moore today. Um, they're just little shiny kind of like charms actually and so here's some of the charms I just made little bead dangles like I love this one I cut I cut apart and actually I said it my in my last video that Michael sells them but it's AC Moore that sells those um they're crystal bracelets that are already made they're made in stretchy um stretchy bands and then I just cut them apart and you get all these um, rondelles and you get the spacer beads and stuff so that's my pink and black one and then I did a pink and green because they had like um, let's see like say this one was one of the pink and green ones it's just like little inlaid like beads on there and stuff so and then this one, uh, the charms I used were little teapots. So um, it turned out pretty. I put an angel on this one with a heart dangle. And then I had these little, I don't even know where I got these bows. But there's like a little bow there on the bottom of that green one with a teapot. And these are, they, this is like the honkers that I use for like the bottom. That's the very bottom. But they hang, they're really heavy actually. These are pretty heavy. And Kelly Merton, I think it was. I'm gonna, I'll put it in the description box. It was in my last video. But these are like chunky charms. These are heavy. But I actually changed the one I showed you because it was way too um, wide and I made it longer. I made my chain longer. So I like the way it hangs better now. But even these little beads, like just doing two kind of smaller ones with a um, rondelle. It's chunky, you know, and then I do have a couple, like a couple small ones, just kind of in between. Um, and then this one I just made today. This is the purple one. I mean, this is heavy. So, but again, it's like at least 12 beads on here. And some of these beads are quite big. So this one's like just a teardrop and I put a rondelle and a silver bead. I like these with the little inlays. And I just keep them kind of simple, really, just with a rondelle and some spacers. Um, and then this is, these are definitely the Jesse James beads. This is just pretty. It's kind of like an oval-shaped pearl, almost. But they're gorgeous, those Jesse James beads. But I kind of wanted to get these done because I'm, I'm going to put the beads away. Um, while they're all out, I just wanted to, you know, make a few things before, um, 
I put them away. I have some painting to do. I'm going to paint some letters for my nephew. And um, so I'm definitely, uh, but I made some stick pins. So I'm going to make a video of my stick pins I made. I made some Christmas ones and a little um, Christmas stick pin holder. So, but these are gorge. They're heavy. I'm telling you, like, I don't know. Let's see if you can get a better perspective of them kind of hanging. Not really, not with all the other stuff on the desk, but I haven't actually tried putting this like on a pocketbook because that's what Kelly used them for, um, pocketbook charms. So we'll see. I might try it and put it. my pocketbook I am using right now actually has gold findings on it. So I don't have any gold on here, but they are super chunky. All right, guys. So like, see, this was my before one. I mean, it's still kind of long and everything but it's not nearly as chunky I just didn't use as big a beads on it so it's still um got a lot of beads but they're just not as big so um all right that's it for I'm going to come back with my stick pins thanks for watching